Samsung produces very cheap laser printers, probably they earn nothing selling a printer, but they have found a way to make money. The toners and the drum unit need to be replaced when the printer tells you, not when they are really empty. If you install a new drum on the drum unit, the printer still will refuse to print. The printer records how many pages have been printed, and once the drum hits that number, the printer sends an error message, and it won't print anything, until you replace the imaging unit with a new one. Into the drum unit, there is a reset chip. But this reset chip is just a resistor inside a plastic container. Samsung doesn't want you discover their little secret, so they covered the component. In this way, you can't see the colored ribbons that identifies a resistor. There are two resistors, in parallel. One of them is 200k ohm, the other is 56 ohm. When the drum unit is inserted into the printer for the first time, the printer passes a current though the drum unit. The small 56 ohm A resistor blows, and the page counter is reset. From now, when you turn on the printer, the printer detects the 200K resistor, knows that this is not a new drum, and the printer starts to count all the printed pages. When the printer reaches the number Samsung has decided, it will stop to work. So you have to buy a new drum, with the two resistors inside, and the cycle repeats. If you just replace the 56 ohm A fuse, the printer will think your old drum unit, is a new drum unit. Probably, you might use a weaker resistor, not specifically a 56 ohm. Different Samsung drum units could have different resistors. Note that this trick doesn't fix a worn drum, it just stops the error message.